After posting a picture of some geometric nails, I had quite a few requests to show how to do the design. On this particular person, I've done two coats of shellac in iced vapor as the base color so that the geometric really pop. She's going on a trip and so I want her to have some bling underneath her colors. The first thing I'm going to do is put some colors on the palette. I've used CND shellac in water park. Limeade and Grape Gum. Then I'm going to come in and use a small striping brush as well as a small stylus. I'm going to begin by making the shapes before I make the lines. For the circle I like to use the stylus and you can mix up which color you use for which shape. I'm just going to set down a dot of the grape gum and then widen it out into a circle. On the next nail, I'm going to use the grape gum in a different location as well as a different shape. I'm going to set down a couple dots of the grape gum and then I'm going to manipulate it into a shape. On this nail, I would like it to be a square. So I've just moved the blob of grape gum into a square. On this nail again, I'm just going to put some drops of the color, then manipulate them into a shape. On this nail, I'd like it to be a triangle. On this nail, I'm going to go with a rectangle. So I'm actually going to make the drops side by side and then I'm going to manipulate the shellac into a shape. It's much easier to move it around than to try actually just flat out drawing a shape. If you should have any spots that you want to clean up, for example if I want my corners on my triangle to be a little more crisp because it's hard to get them crisp using the round edge of the stylus. You could come in with a small square or angle brush and simply clean up the sides with a dry brush to get the corners crisp. You can then clean the brush out in a little bit of alcohol and wipe the brush dry and clean up any other edges that you like. Now I'm going to come back in and make shapes in a different color. So I'm going to pick up the green and the purple is in a circle. So on this I'm going to do green and a square. I'm just manipulating it around. Here it's a square so let's do a triangle. Here it's a triangle, so let's do a rectangle. Just manipulate it into place. And then on the last one we've got a rectangle. Let's do a circle. I'm going to clean my tool off, come in, and I'm going to use the last color for the last shape. So here we have a circle and a square. So let's do a really tiny triangle. So I'm going to dot that down, and I'm going to come around with an even smaller stylus and draw a triangle. On this nail, we have the square and the triangle, so let's do a circle. And I'm going to have the circle coming off the edge of the nail. Again, you're kind of setting the shellac down and manipulating it. This helps you keep from getting it too thick. On this nail, we have a triangle and a rectangle. So let's do another circle.
On this nail we have a rectangle and a circle, so let's do a triangle. And got that a little bit off the edge, getting it on the end. So I'm just going to clean that up with the stylus. And I like to go ahead and cure the shapes for two minutes before I add the lines. So we're going to pop these into the lamp for two minutes. Once your shapes are cured, you can come in and add the lines. So just pick a color that's the opposite of the shape. Here I'm going to use the striping brush and pick up some blue. You want the color to be slightly up the striping brush so that you don't have a ball of color on the end. I'm just going to come away from the purple circle with the blue line. last switch towards me. Okay, that makes it a little easier for you to see the lines. Thanks. So just take your blue, and the trick with using a striping brush is to hardly use any pressure, because if you push down on the brush, it's going to flare out and you're not going to get a nice thin line. So that line is just coming towards the circle. Let me zoom in and see if you can see it a little better. The sparkle's kind of throwing your eye off, isn't it? And the nice thing about doing this with shellac is if your line does get a little thick, you can just take that small brush again and crisp it up. So super easy. Then with the triangle, you can leave it alone or you can have a line come out of the top. And since the triangle line is going to pretty much intersect with the circle, I'm going to use the green and come up from the top center, stop at the circle as if the circle were in front of the line, and then come down from the top so that it's like the line went behind the circle and down into the triangle. Then the only one I haven't used is purple. And I'm going to bring the purple across to the top of the square. So I'm just going to slide across, make it a nice thin line, stop at the square, switch the direction of my brush, and come across to the square. So that's how you get your geometric. I'll do one more just in case that one was hard to see. On this one we've got the purple square. Let's bring the blue line into the purple square. I'm going to load my brush. And you can come across or you can come up and down. I'm going to go across so that the blue line doesn't run into the blue square or the blue circle, I guess it is. It's easier if you work side to center on the nail when you're trying to draw lines to get the lines straight because if you try going straight from one side to the other, a lot of times they bump out when you hit the curve of the nail. On this one, I want the line to go alongside the edge of the triangle. So I'm going to pick up some blue. Oh no, I don't want blue. I want purple. I lied. I'm going to pick up some purple. And then I'm going to take the purple and do the line alongside the triangle so that it still connects with the geometric but it gives it a different look. The trick when you're doing the geometric is just connecting the shapes with the lines in any manner. 
So it doesn't have to come at it a certain way. Let's use the green to go to the blue circle. And I'm just going to bring that straight down. And I'm actually going to border the square. I'm just going to fill in up here where it didn't quite lay down. And remember, gentle pressure so your brush doesn't flare out. So hopefully you could see adding those lines a little bit easier. Once you have lines added to all of the nails connecting to the shapes, you're ready to top coat and cure. Look for a picture on my Facebook. Just search Fingernail Fixer. Thanks, and have some geometric fun.